so we're going to just talk about the uh, the newer style suburban cooktop with the black glass. Something that we've come across is if you um, have a spill of water of some sort or maybe you boil over the pot, a little bit of a bad design in our opinion where the water can get actually under the burner and obstruct the gas flow. So we're going to show you how to clean that real quick. Instead of being in a trailer, we just put one on the bench here to show you. So essentially, you can see the recessed area here. Um, water can actually get underneath that burner um, and cause problems. So you'll know you've got a problem if you don't have a nice clean blue gla uh, gas flame. Um, when it gets obstructed with liquid of some sort, it blocks off the airflow and you'll start to see like an orange irregular flame. So and typically it's only one burner, but um, at any rate, it's fairly easy to, to uh, remove a couple of parts and, and clean it. So I'll show you that quick. But before I get there, just please note the pan size that you need on these. Um, they're a little restricted for size, minimum six and a half, you know, large, too large of a pan, the heat will actually deflect down and it actually causes a problem underneath on the on the burners or the the valves not actually the knobs themselves the, the valve um, it, it uh, causes problems there so make sure you're sticking to the sizes um, okay so on the bottom of the unit we've got these just two screws flip it over again in a sec. Just this little, uh, I don't want to call it a heat shield, but uh, protective plate. Take that off, move that out of the way. And basically, there's your two burners. Um, you just need to take those screws out. So I'm just gonna pull the grate out of here first. Essentially what we're, we're trying to do is get this thing out of the way. It, it's attached through those two screws. Okay, so it's not about removing this, it's about removing this. So I'll flip this back down. Okay, so this was just sitting on top of there. But now you can kind of see, if you get enough water, it can actually fall down into that little um, cavity there and it'll get in the way of the propane jet um, and cause problems that way. So easy enough for you to take it apart, quickly clean that all up, and you're back in business.